<laughs> I wasn't set up at all, so... There. <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. Yeah, see, I am not set up at all. I'm, like, on the fly doing this. So, we have one... We're going to be taste testing one of three different things. We're going to be taste testing them all, but different days. Just today we're going to be doing one of them. We've got... Got to cover my, up my address. <laughs> we got the Japanese crate. The Asian food snackies. And the Korean. No offense, but you're all Asian. It just depends on yeah, the culture. It's just this one specifically just says Asian Munchies snack box. Ooh. It doesn't say it's from any specific country. And it's it just pretty says, big. It's, pretty, it's probably got a lot of conglomerates in it. It just says Asian snack, munchie snack box. So I'm not trying to be like racist or culturist Culture. or whatever. It's... You're not trying to culture appropriate over here. Yes, it's just one says it's from Japan, one says it's from Korea, one says it's just a generic Asian food box. So I apologize in advance. Which one do you vote for? That's a good question. That's like a trick question. Korean, Japan, or just the generic conglomeration? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, surprise me. How would I close my eyes? You pick. I don't know, just a pick. If he go, my mother said that you are the best one, so you are it. This Asian. One. Well, let's, let's see what's inside. Um, <clears throat> and I guess it tells you where they're from, too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, right now, we're just sitting on top is a strawberry mochi flavored Kit Kat. That's like a thank you or a gift. I think that's adorable. We should split this one right now. Before we do, I am going to be... I am going to be trying it all, even if it's chocolate, but I am getting a trash can just... Oh yes, he does not like chocolate, so eating chocolate for him is more like a him being a good sport, which we appreciate. We I, appreciate that I am going to be taste testing it all. It's just I don't want to throw up on camera. Ooh. Sakura mochi flavor. So this is cherry blossom and green yeah, no, sorry, not matcha mochi, so sakura. Um cherry blossom. Uh, rice ice cream. One of my favorites, honestly. I love mochis, but I did not know they made. Well, obviously, we have limited flavors here in America. My favorites, technically, um, are not... Well, I love mochis. I love mochis, but I also love bobas because where I am from here, um, we have more variety flavors of bobas. So... Ooh... Look at how pretty. It's a light pink. It's literally pastel Kit Kat. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's delicious. It's a very distinctive. Um, it's not. Um, I'm not throwing it out. It's not heavily cherry flavored whatsoever. It's not like wild cherry. I like the fact that the flavor is like very light. I'm barely there, and it almost tastes more like the um, Asuki beans, or uh, sorry, the Asuki beans. Sorry about that noise, that was my ringtone saying almost, I got a notification. It almost tastes like red bean paste. Did I pronounce that right, Asuki beans? Um, it, I'm gonna set that aside for later. <laughs> it has like a light aromatic flavor, but it's barely cherry, it's like balanced, it's no tartness, but it's more wafer, more cream. And it tastes more like bean paste than anything. But I love it. I love the fact that it tastes like bean paste. Everything else in this box is wrapped up in a nice green bubble wrap. Like a cellophane bubble wrap. It's amazing. Um, and then Excuse me. we can go over the products one by one because it's kind of like when you get those chocolate boxes and they have food charts on them. These have little food charts. 
which is super cute, super crazy. It's got a nice little thank you sticker. It does. Do I think that's, that's what the chocolate bar came with. Okay. Do you so, want to go across them or do you want to either way. describe what they are as we pull them we'll out? We'll pull them out and then we'll find out what they are. Okay, so first thing, um, this is a grilled seaweed roll from Thailand. Big roll of gui grilled seaweed. Grilled seaweed. It's grilled seaweed. Oh lord. <laughs> Ooh. If I'm being honest with you, I don't think I've ever had seaweed. It's extra fishy, usually. It's, if you don't like the fish flavor, be prepared. This is a little bit slightly fishier. It's really delicious though. I, I, my mom had some once because um well i mean we we always have it whenever we have sushi sushi related things but my mom was on a keto diet for a while and she and i both really like fish and at one point she wanted to eat these little fried seaweed wafer things but they're just they're just seaweed just just salted seaweed and yeah that's what it looks like it's literally just seaweed Very, very paper thin. I'm afraid if I break it, it's gonna Here. Yeah, there we we'll go. We'll break it over the trash can. That works. Oh yeah, this almost smells more like a, uh, a sauce though, more than seaweed. Almost smells more like teriyaki or fish sauce. Of course it would smell like fish, no offense, it's, it's seaweed. So here goes, bottoms up. You know, not bad. Not at all. I don't like fish, and this is not bad. Mm-hmm. It does I still have a bit of a fishy flavor. Okay, so... A little. Sorry, before we continue, each one of these, we're going to be rating them on a scale of thumbs up. We would have this every in everyday life if we saw a fast food what? place. So-so, I might have it, but I might skip it up, or I would just never have that Oh again. no, it tastes exactly as I expected, so it's definitely... He doesn't like fish. I think I, I would definitely have that. What about the first thing? The oh, for sure, bar? for sure. If if I could get my hands on another... I'm a so-so with that one. I like it. It's I've never had anything like it here in America. We, we do have specialty stores that do order things specifically from Japan, and then they'll bring them over, but they're usually only in our specialty shops. Where he's lucky, his city is just a county away from mine, and he lives in a more downtownish region, so he has more specialty shops that are only just a few miles away. We're gonna need these. Oh yes, we literally live within like a 20-minute drive of each other. But fortunately for me, I still do not have my license yet, and we're working on that together. That I can achieve, obtain mine for reasons not unknown. I used to be terrified of driving. So, um, <laughs> he'll usually come over and pick me up, but whenever we go out, we'll go downtown from his place. Usually it's much closer and, uh, lucky. Like, so one of our favorite places is, um, I think it was mentioned on like, uh, Undercover Bosses once, but Rocket Fizz. Rocket Fizz is a really cool novelty shop. Okay, um, these are... Garlic green peas. That is exactly right. They're from Taiwan. I usually do not care for peas whatsoever. I usually don't care for garlic. <laughs> I guess this is a hands down. We're going to both have to be good sports to try it. No offense. Sorry, I just I usually don't like peas. Oh. Yeah, you can just take one right now, I guess. Not good. It's not that it's not good. It's not bad either. Mm -mm. It's kind of like, kind of like my dad's fish bait. That'd be a no for me. I'm intermediate. I I just don't usually care for peas. I'm so sorry that I didn't mean for it to insult anybody. If they yeah. actually prefer those. Yeah. No, we're, we don't mean to insult anybody. This is just our opinion on these snacks. <laughs> Um, oh, oh my gosh, I love these. Um, what are they called again? Let me check, I remember these. It is literally the classic guava. It's a sphere. And, oh, there's somebody at the door. I 
have several of them. Ooh, different kinds, different kinds. So this, I bet I'll just leave this one to Jake to enjoy for himself. It's a hard candy. If you've never had the classics, I'm sorry for pulling this out of the wrapper, but these are what they look like. It's just a little ball that packs a lot of flavor, and this is guava flavor. I'm going to be giving her the cappuccino flavor. He does not like coffee. What no, I did not. Give me one moment, guys. I... Copico. It is... It doesn't say. Oh, wait, yes, it does. Um, Copico candy from Indonesia. I had an important package delivered. I feel like if he did not eat that guava candy, he for surely would be missing out. Okay. So. Sorry. He'll try the guava one, and I'll take the coffee. So. Ooh, this is pretty. Excuse so I'm me. assuming one half is it's cappuccino. So one half is coffee. The other oh. half is cream, and they're all the same candy. It's actually good. I know. I love these ones. Again, specialty stores. There's a, a store that actually is close to my house that uh, sells these. And it is incredible because I will usually go shopping there and I will buy them in bulk. It was my little secret when I first started working at Amazon. There would be people that would hand out candy all the time. And when I became an ambassador, I wanted to be one of those people that would go around and help people, ask them questions if they needed help, show them around, show them the ropes. And then, to be a good sport, I would literally give them like fistfuls of candy. And that green classic candy was my secret weapon. I would have them in all my pockets of my little ambassador vest. And let me tell you, those amb ambassador vests can carry a lot in them. So I'd have like, oh gosh, about 200 candies every night. Sorry, I guess we're also doing an unboxing, because... They're here. Ooh, pretty. Bumper stickers. This is delicious. It does taste like a cappuccino. Here is yours, medium, Ooh. as you suggested. Thank you. I love it. And mine, which is XL. Uh, Cloak, this isn't sponsored, but if you would like some quality shirts, some quality just attire, go to cloakbrand.com. Uh, again, we're not sponsored, but go to cloakbrand.com. Cloak They're an amazing people. An amazing company. Yes. What other candies have we got? I am going to finish this, but to move on to the next stuff, I am going to take it out temporarily. I'm just going to keep eating mine. No secrets here. Because that is delicious, but my teeth are sensitive right now, so I can't just bite down onto it and crack it. Okay. Um. Excuse me. Um. Peanut cream wafers. That is correct. Let me see. Oh, here. Hello, viewer. Um, yeah, we're oh. just trying a big box of Asian snacks. Well, I guess that's the only flavor it came in. It, it, it would have either come in strawberry, taro, or peanut. And these ones are peanuts, so that's what we get. I'm excited, honestly. I'm assuming this sounds terrible, but I would think it'd be kind of like a uh, Ritz crack. No, they're wafer wafers. They're nothing like Ritz. They're Ooh. big wafers, too. Ooh. Yeah, these are just like when he and I just went to the Asian store in uh, October, yeah, and these I bought like, him a bunch of taro ones. These are the taro. same size as the taro ones. They are. Oh my gosh, they smell good. Sorry, I'm just eating it over the trash really can. Really rich and peanut buttery. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's like a peanut butter cookie. That one's a so-so for me. I wouldn't buy it in the store if there were other options, but if it was the only thing, I'd buy it. Mm. So for me, that's a so-so. For me, it's a plus. It's really sweet, and it balances out. 
it, this Excuse is literally me. the best thing, like Butterfingers or um, what are the other ones called? I'm not sure, but you know, uh, you know the the chocolate bars that usually come with like crunchy peanut flavor or whatever. This this is like that with minus the chocolate. So, all the fun of a Butterfinger without the actual Butterfinger. Yeah. Which, surprisingly, even though I don't like chocolate, Butterfingers are like the only chocolate I will eat. Okay, M. Mm hmm. I'm giving you the option to choose another small boy. Ooh. This looks like lychee. We might just go with it. It is! Oh my gosh! Um. Wow, it is amazing. This is also like the um no yeah, no I see that. Which one is the one I like? Koskai? Koskai is Japanese. This is not Koskai. This is Malaysian. It's called Coco Land. Coco Land lychee gummies. I bet you anything when you open it up it's a little dome shape too. That's what Koskai look like. Mine is from Korea and it's a pomegranate flavored hard candy. Ooh. Are you still chewing on the other hard ones? I am. I might as well hurry up and eat it if <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this lychee candy. I know, I know. I get corrected all the time on my pronunciation of lychee. I always call them lychees because most everyone else that I know are either from the Middle East or actually from Asia. We have a family friend and his wife is Korean. She's always called these lychees. But I've been corrected multiple times by some of my fellow Hawaiian friends who always tell me that they're called lychees. So, potato, potato. I'm ready to see if this looks like a Koskai. Um, you know, I've never had pomegranate before. Oh. This is my first time tasting anything pomegranate Ooh. and it's not bad. It smells really strong, but it is not like a Koskai. Is it like gelatinous? It is, but isn't. Yeah, yeah, it's like a giant jelly cube. It's a, it's a half dome still, yeah. But it's thicker, and it's rounder, and it's more opaque. And the Koskai gummies are usually like somewhat, um, what's the word for it again? Not opaque. Um, translucent? Not transparent, but translucent. And this is definitely opaque. It kind of looks like a rubber stamper, honestly. I don't know why. I opened it up and I thought, hmm, I thought it was going to look more like a Koskai. And it uh, it looks like a, a child's pencil eraser. <laughs> yeah, this one isn't bad. This is the first time me having anything pomegranate. It's not bad. Of course, all you viewers out there who were like, I love pomegranate. Pomegranate's not bad at all. I'm like, this is my first time trying it. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Delectable. This is amazing. Again, saving for later. But I am going to eat it because it's delicious. My gummy, excuse me, sorry. My gummy had that really strong aromatic, kind of fruity, kind of floral flavor that lychees usually have. I am not disappointed whatsoever by that. I can tell this next one's also a gummy. Ooh, I wonder what it it's is. It's a mango. Oh yes, it does say that. It says it is mango or gummy from another one from Malaysia. Oh hey, it's the same brand of the lychee one I just ate. Same brand. I am so sorry I am failing you because I do not know my lesion, so I do not know the, it also looks like an eraser, but this is more translucent. If you can see the sunlight shining through it. Oh yeah, gorgeous. And I'm not the biggest fan of mango, yes. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of things. We can split it though, we can split it here. Here, I got a knife. Nope, it's okay. It smells. Amazing, like mango It has spit. a smell. <laughs> it smells like peach jelly. But most mangoes usually do resemble, you know, peaches in stronger form. Oh. Mm-hmm. Very mango-y. Very. Um, 
yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. It's very, it's got a more pungent, more pronounced flavor. Um, when I say pungent, I don't necessarily mean bad. It's, it's just very prominent. It's very flavor saturated. It's very mango-y. Again, I really don't know what to say. I'm not disappointed. It's amazing. Banana shake candy. Is it a hard candy or a... Uh... It feels hard. Oh, darn. It doesn't say where it's from. Because you like bananas. I'll give this one to oh, you. Oh, you're so sweet, babe. And I'll have this one, whatever it is. Um, oh, that one is a lucky candy, typically strawberry. And these are usually given out during Lunar New, Lunar New Year for good luck in Taiwan. Well, I guess I will enjoy my banana shake cookie, or candy, sorry. <laughs> banana shake candy. And that is a strawberry good luck candy. So. Ooh! Delectable? Mine is not a gummy, or mine is not a hard candy like I thought it was. Very delectable. Mine it's, is. Um, it's like a Laffy Taffy. Excuse me. It's not good. This lucky candy. My banana shake tastes exactly how I expected it. Really does. Tastes like a banana milkshake. Mmm. I have liked all of these so far. I am not disappointed. Oh. Boba milk tea cake. Yep, that is from Taiwan as well. If you can see the bobas on it. Those are the pearls. We don't really want to refer to them as bobas as... Well... Ooh. Ooh, let's break it in half. <gasps> Ooh! It looks like a Fig Newton bar. <gasps> Ooh! It's got a type of jelly filling in the middle. He pulled it apart and it literally <laughs> stretched. Look at that. Look at that. It's very crumbly. Very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, not my favorite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I ripped off a small piece. Do you want the rest of this one? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. Oh, it's delicious. Palate cleanser. <laughs> the cake in itself is like a, um, it's a little overbearingly sweet, um, which is the thing that I think salvages it, because most people probably do not like flavors like, um, I would hate to say this because I don't want to disappoint anyone if they're looking forward to a treat like this, but this um, literally reminds me of the tapioca boba pearls. It tastes like Thai tea, or in comparison, most people would also say it would remind them of whorehound or anise. It does taste like either whorehound or anise candies. So its saving grace is the weight, the, the cookie, the cookie itself, the cake, because um, it's like a, a Fig Newton bar, kind of, I would say. But it's, it's chewier, it's more gelatinous, it's like a gummy rather than a... Uh, Excuse me, rather than a cake filling, so it's amazing. I like it does taste like boba. It really does. I'm impressed. It is it is very crumbly though. Oh pretzy. Pretz. Pretz. Ooh, they feel like pretzels or Yeah, they're called roasted biscuit sticks. And they're also from Thailand. Pockies. That's what they're called. <coughs> oh, like a pokey? They feel like pop. They felt like pockies. From they do kind of look like they do resemble them. Minus the dip, like yin yang or pocky. These uh, the little pretzel rods. Oh, because they are from Glico Company. They're salted pretzel rods. They like pocky minus the dip. These are amazing. I would get these in everyday life. The, the boba cake, so-so for me, but. Mm.
It's so funny. He says that they're made. They feel like Pocky, and they're made by the same company that makes Pocky. I would give these there. <coughs> Excuse me. What would you say? Like thumbs oh, up, sure. thumbs down, or for to sure. the side about the boba? The boba. Oh, that's cake. definitely for me. It's 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 a yes. It for me, that's like a, a boba. so so. We have a ramen noodle thing in here. Um, yes. Uh, not necessarily ramen noodles, but instant dry noodles. They're called. Pardon me. I hope I don't. I hope I don't slaughter this. I want to say it's called Indomie Mi Goreng. Instant dry noodles from Indonesia. We may make these in a minute. <coughs> yeah, sure. As soon as we're. Snag a few more of these Glico <laughs> Pestle Rods. Now, would you like to continue with the um, Snackies, or would you like to try that one and only drink? Which one and only drink? This has a one and only drink in this box. Both? Oh, how cute! I like how the uh, little people, he has an angry eyebrow and little whiskers, and I'm not sure what are on her face. She has, she has whiskers too? She has whiskers, but her eyes are closed. So. <laughs> Don't eat all those, I like those too. <laughs> no, I know, I won't eat them all. You're eating like three at once, I've salvaged two. For... I'm like, I only ate three. No, I thought you ate six. I ate three. Oh. Well, they're delicious. <laughs> All right. It does open like a ramen, eh? Most marble sodas do. Sorry. Boom. I saw the fizz and I was like, nope. I'll bet you anything. This is like a uh, classic lemon lime. Usually they don't have that Sprite flavor like we do when they are lemon-lime. It's more like a subtle hint of flavor. I like it because it's almost minty in a way. Not really minty, but... Oh, shoot. Shoot. It was just a peanut butter cracker, don't worry. It's a little bit more prominent. Um, I don't quite know what to make of it because I don't know if it is lemon lime. I would like to think it is lemon lime. If it's you would a, like it. I would, for sure, thank you. You can just have the rest of it. Okay, it's a uh, more prominent flavor though. I would say it's kind of like Sprite, I would say, but that's just a lucky guess of mine. Bottoms up, me laddies, yo. Oh. <laughs> it's delicious. I don't know what it. I would like to think it's lemon lime. It tastes like it. Yeah, it feels like soap. Thank you. <clears throat> of course. Cheesy rice cracker from Taiwan. Feels like it's gonna be crumbly, so I'm opening it up over the trash. Ooh, there are two of them. That's just perfect for both of us. Ooh, all they are? Rice cracker just coated in cheese they're powder. They're very light. Very, yeah. They're just puffed rice. Puffed rice crackers. And they're covered in the same kind of cheese powder I think you would, you would find maybe on like... Well, you know, it's cheese powder. You'd probably find it like the, the Captain seasoning for your popcorn, you find it in your mac and cheese. It's just, what can I say? It already looks adorable. It's like a Cheetos bigger cousin. <laughs> Those are delicious. Mmm, mm-hmm. I'm not a cheese guy and I love these. It's a little sweet, in my opinion, but that's because it's rice. Um, usually rice, especially in like Asian cooking or even in our own culture, Rice can be used for many purposes. Um, my favorite, honestly, is rice paper, the printable stuff you can put on sheet cakes for pictures. 
Um, but you can make sweet rice, sticky rice, and uh, this definitely has that kind of like sweet, sweeter flavor. The powder makes it very cheddar-y though. It's like sweet cheese. I know that sounds probably gross, but it's not. It's a... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Ooh, what is this? Multi-grain crispy roll. Um... Sorry, I didn't mean to like interrupt your story oh, you're or anything. Fine. I was just you're fine. on the next one. Um, it is. It can either be egg yolk or pumpkin flavor, and this comes from Taiwan. I don't think we know what flavor it is. I'm gonna assume it's egg yolk. It's white. How do we divvy this up? Do we just snap it in half? We should probably break it in half over the trash can. Oh, there it goes. Take your size. I honestly can't tell, excuse me, I can't tell if it's egg yolk or pumpkin. I want to say, um, it's egg yolk? They're not my personal favorite, but you know me. Uh, the, that last one, that cheddar thing, I would definitely buy that every day. This, I'm so-so on, but. And to me, it tastes like, um, a fortune cookie. A bigger fortune cookie. It's, uh, not as dense at all. It's, it's thick. But it's really airy, and it's not as hard to bite into, so you don't have that risk of like scraping up the roof of your mouth or, or hurting your teeth. You just bite into it, and it's really soft. It's just a little dense. Um, yeah, and I like the egg yolk flavor. It's, I, I want to say it's egg yolk, not pumpkin. Um, yeah. It tasted like eggs, kind of. It was delicious. That was really satisfying. Ooh, what's this pretty thing? Sugar coated rice cracker. It looks like a sugar cookie. Oh, there are two of them again. I like how these come in packets of two. It's like they just knew that. <laughs> there are only two of us. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, now isn't that just lovely? It's like a waffle on the back. Literally, it's got a waffle appearance. And then on the front, it's cooked with sugar pearls. So you might not be able to see, excuse me, because they're really melty. Oh, and they're a little salty. All those little white things on them are just cooked granular sugar pearls. Isn't that just lovely? Mm, mm -hmm. Seems like the cat liked it. She had a lick of it. <laughs> it is definitely a cracker. I like it. This is, ironically, a little saltier than the um, cheese cracker we just had. But it's a better balance to me than the cheese one itself. It's more of a balance between sweet and salty. It's saltier. And even though this is rice, this literally reminds me of a really good handful of kettle corn. She's the smarter, more cultured one. If these came in convenience stores in America, I would I, probably buy them. This is sure. a thumbs up for me, man. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. Excuse me. I am a. Uh, I would not want to brag and say I'm more cultured, per se. I just, uh, I, I don't know how to describe myself. I used to do. She's a better other. person. I'm not, no. Um, I, I used to try to get out more when I was younger. Um, I didn't go to house parties and I didn't have a lot to do. I had lots of friends who would watch anime and I myself did not want to just but uh, binge anime. Instead, I wanted to learn more about other cultures and whatnot. So things I did not know myself that I wanted to know. I would go around and I would either ask questions or I would go to little shops. Again, like I said, the one that sells the... Um, the original guava candy, or the classic guava candies, that is literally one of my favorite shops by my house because they have everything Asian in there. Whether it be um, Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, the shop owner would literally go and make little tour trips to Asia, which is my favorite part. And then, of course, the street markets. I'm so sorry, but the street markets are always fun. Um, we have swap meets here, 
and the swap meets are our own versions of street markets, but he would go and he would buy things in bulk and bring them back here <clears throat> in order to sell them in his shop. And I absolutely adore everything about it because you learn so many things from so many different cultures. Like their products, um, Excuse just me. other things you do ask around. So I'm, I'm not by any means more cultured than him whatsoever. I just, I just like to binge and learn from other people, other things. This Excuse me. Next one is going to be hers. And I'm glad we have a water bottle right there. It's a coffee mix, instant oh. coffee. Oh my goodness. It's Vietnamese. <laughs> no way. Thank you. Here, I'll sure, sure. take that and put it there. Then while you enjoy that, I'm going to go back to this. Oh, he's going to enjoy his little guava ball again. While she's enjoying this instant coffee. I wish this came with creamer, but we'll see. Oh, wait, it does. Oh, <laughs> wish granted. Wow. It is not only instant coffee. <laughs> it is called Coffee Mix 3-in-1. Literally, Coffee Mix all one word, 3-in-1. It has coffee, sugar, and cream. All in one tube. I'm excited. You need some skizzers? No, nope. nope, you got it. Well, I guess here goes. Bottoms up. Here, just put do it over this just to be safe. Oh wow, look at that rich color. Ooh, that smell. Oh, it's so aromatic. It looks almost sand-like. No offense. It does. No, it does look like sand. These look like grains of sand. I like it, though. Um, Before you shake it up. It has very much crystal texture, and it looks like little grains of sand because there's a weird little balance between the actual bean granules and the creamer. And so it's a really fine powder. Oh, as you can see, it like pouring down into there, yeah? But it does, it looks like we just went to a white sand beach. Can you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks like beach sand. Excuse me. I am so excited. And, and when it spills on the top a little, you can see that it's instant mm. coffee. It's that dark, again, that color. Ooh, it's lighter in color though. I would assume that is because of the creamer. Ooh, that's pretty. Did you feel it because it's heating up or something? No, I just, uh, I like to looking at the color. It is definitely, it's a little lighter than I expected, but I, I don't know. I prefer my coffee really dark. I, I'm weird. I don't always drink it black, but when I do, I mean, when I don't, I usually drink it as close to black as possible. The only exceptions I take are the, um, what are those called again? The frappes at McDonald's. Those are always my personal Caramel favorites. Frappies. I'm addicted to those. It smells like black coffee. Can't smell it. it smells like you black. You don't want that to drip. Oh, of course not, yeah. Um, okay, bottoms up. It uh, either definitely needs more shaking, <laughs> or it needs some um, a little more cream or sugar. a little bit more sugar in it. It's not bad though. It's not a bad balance. I I like this. I like this. It's not bad. I am easily surprised. Well, that sounds me easily surprised. No, I mean to say I am impressed. I am impressed. It has a balance to it. It's got. A sort of bitterness or tartness, but not like a sour tart, just because the coffee itself is bitter. And then, um, it's, it's just really well blended with the cream and everything. It's just a good balance. Again, like the uh, wafer thing. Tamarind candy? Tamarind. Um, somebody referred to them as barbecue sauce once, and I would almost like to think so, but I've never been a big fan of tamarind. So I guess we'll have to see if this is gummy or not. It looks like it's a hard candy. 
Um, there are plenty of Mexican stores that sell these. Not not this specific type, obviously, but they sell tamarind. Oh, can it be broken? Not really. You want to go for it then? Just tap it. Oh, or that. There we go. That's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a thicker chip. I just okay. turned to dust in my hand. Oops. Oh, yeah. I'll sweep that up later. Mmm. Not good? It's not bad, but it's not necessarily... I've never been a big fan of tamarind. This is not necessarily bad, but it's a little weird. Um, it's a little bit more peachy than the actual tamarind fruit. But, um, you know what? I can't complain because of the fact that it's so peachy. I've never been a big fan of tamarind, but I kind of like this. This one's different than the others? It has a, um, hard to explain flavor, and I don't know if it's because of the tamarind or if there are other fruit cocktails mixed into this candy. You know, like when you go to a store and they'll say they're they're a specific flavor juice sometimes you go to the store and then it says also blended with other cocktails and fruits like when i go and i get like a a bottle of, or not a bottle per se but the, those cartons of like the welch's passion fruit candy it'll say it's a blend of white grape and a peach cocktail or pear or whatever um this tavern candy kind of tastes like that it does have that weird burnt ish kind of flavor because of the tamarind fruit but it also tastes kind of peachy and kind of that artificial watermelon. It has, it tastes like watermelon and peach too. Yeah. It does. I've never had it before, so. What do you think? Oh, Cook Das Vienna the Coffee. The Vienna, Vienna coffee. coffee. It feels hard, so it doesn't feel like it's a drink mix. It's a biscuit. You might not want to keep crumbling it. It's a Korean biscuit. I hope I didn't slaughter that then. Vienna coffee or white tort flavor. What's a tort? We need Markiplier here. He's a he's Korean. Ooh! Ah! Oh. Here, break it in half. Yes. Ooh! This looks like a. Uh, it does say biscuit. But what are those um, biscottis? This kind of reminds you of a biscotti, which isn't that Italian for biscuit anyway. Not my favorite. It's got a slight hint of coffee in it, but. Mm. So this must be the Vienna coffee one. Not my personal favorite, but. I'm gonna grab the other smaller strips that broke. Oh out. well. <laughs> Oh, you dropped a bit on your lap that, there. Yeah, there we go. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Very biscuity. Ooh, what's this one? It looks like... TK food. The salty egg yolk cookie. Oh, that would make sense. It kind of feels like it's egg shaped in here. Oh, and it's from Taiwan. It does look kind of ruffly, and it does look like it has eggs on a stamp on the bag, so it might be the one. Ooh. What if it tastes very pungent like egg yolks is what I'm a little afraid of. <laughs> no offense, I'm not saying I'm not a big fan of eggs, but personally, they're not always my favorite, so. It does smell like yolks, very strongly of egg yolks. Oh. It says it's a cookie, it tastes like a cracker. Very, very eggy. Yeah, that's a, that's a no for me, I'm sorry. It's not a no for me, but it's uh It's kind of like a this. It's in between so so and no. It's it's a cracker. This I wouldn't rule it out as a cookie. No offense. Prince Oodle Noodles. 
<laughs> is that correct? That's what it looks like. It, it says is. Noodle oodles. It does say that. Original flavor or seaweed? Either way, I'm happy. Because <laughs> that seaweed at the beginning that, Yeah, that delicious. seaweed did taste good. It was still a little fishy. Oh, they're just broken up noodles. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Oh! Kind of seaweedy? No. They taste like, um, what's that stuff called? Vegeta? Not Vegeta. I mean, yes, that's his name. But have you guys ever had, like, Vegeta? I think it's a Finland broth secret. Vegemite? No, not Vegemite. Vegemite's good, though, too. Um, at least I think it's from, if it's not Finland, then it might be Japan. But there's this little broth thing that my mother used to use to make her soups. And I don't know what it's called, but it's like a base, like a bouillon. Or it, most people, like, um, Cajuns call it, like, bouillon. So she'd have this bouillon stuff. And it was called Vegeta. It's spelled like Vegeta is. And I don't remember if it's Finland or Japan that makes this stuff, but it's got a picture of a chef on it, and he's like in a ring of veggies on a blue can. It looks like, um, what's that stuff called? Crisco? It looks like Crisco. This kind of has a, a ve oh, it even has green onions in it. It has a vegeta base flavor, so it's like a broth or a bouillon. So like, you know, like when you just take ramen noodle pack, or have, has anyone done this? Because my friends in junior high used to do this, where they would like crush the noodles and then sprinkle the packets all over it, and then they would eat it that way. Have you done it? This, this literally. That's me. To a tea reminds me of that. It tastes just like Vegeta, and it's just broken up pinchfuls of noodles. I mean, these literally are they not noodles? They just look like instant. They look noodles. like inst they look like ramen noodles, but munched up. I'm so sorry. I'm just spilling them all over. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on, let me. Yeah, you see here's a little green onion in here. If you guys can see those, they look like instant noodles, but... That's, yeah, they're a little bit softer. I'll bet you anything. Um, there was this, uh, what's her name again? Emmy Maid. Emmy Maid likes, uh, showed me this trick. I'm pretty sure she showed everybody. Um, so I don't just mean myself okay, in I general. I can sweep up later. Okay, sorry. I've dropped I don't just so. mean myself in general. I don't know her personally. But um, people in general, she has this really cool channel, usually through Facebook or whatever. Um, where um, she'll show people tricks and somebody showed her this thing where you can crunch noodles and puff them so you like soak them or boil them and then you literally leave them out to dry they take shape and then after they dry they're a little bit softer than they originally were when you buy them hard but then you puff them in like a fryer and that's what these they're not puffed but they're soft like the way she uh, showed us when you first boil them and then leave them to dry they're still like instant noodles, but they're soft instant noodles. Delectable. And they do taste like Vegeta. Good mouthfeel. Hey. Yeah, hey, no, hey. I'm moving on to the next one. I know, I know. I just want like two more pinches. These are good. These are very good. They don't taste like chicken, they just taste like vegetable broth. It's like that, uh, Green onion and chicken in a biscuit kind of flavor. I don't know if that sounds, I don't know, that probably sounds weird. Adorable cracker sand. Cheese tart. Oh, this is a potato cheese cracker. It says adorable cracker sand at the top. It does, it does say that, and that's not, that's not even, that's literal translation, it just. Up at the top of there adorable it says adorable crackers. cracker sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming they meant sandwich, but that's just my assumption. Um, I don't know because I'm assuming, no offense, I don't mean to be an assumption maker, but um, usually some people have language barriers, and I would like to think that if we didn't know how to speak this language, that they're probably trying to say sandwich, and it comes off as sand maybe but that's just my opinion because i'm pretty sure we would have difficulties in their language as well so. 
There are four in here. No, they are sandwiches. Oh, you're right. Never mind. They are. There are four. So when it says adorable cracker sand, like I said, sandwich sand, that would make sense. Adorable cracker sandwich. So that's a good heads up. It's a bit of a language barrier. This comes from Korea. Dink it and sure. sink it. It smells like Ritz. It literally smells like Ritz. The cracker overpowers the thing in the middle. Which may... Mm -mm. This literally just tastes like a Ritz cracker. Yeah, like I don't taste whatever filling is in the middle. Oh no. No, you, if you had American Ritz cracker sandwiches, this would still taste... It's literally got the same cheese flavor. It's a little bit sweet. And he's like that cheese powder, like the rice cra uh, the cracker that we had earlier, the rice powder cracker. It tastes just like that. So they're like rich sandwiches, literally. We got two things left. I'm going to finish my other half. Are they called poteau? That would explain. So poteau cheese tart adorable cracker sandwich. Even though it says sand, sandwich. We got two things left. The pasta, which we're going to make in a moment, and some popcorn. Ooh. Oh no, there are, snack there are more snack noodles. Mm -hmm. Don't boil it, smash it. Bulgogi flavor. Do, well, hold on, let's see what it's, well that's all it says, but... Um, Pusha Pusha Little Snack Bulgogi flavor from Korea. Um, what are the instructions? Besides, don't boil it, smash it. Is that all it says? How to enjoy. Take out of the. Spices and smash the noodles. Sprinkle the spices on, shake, and enjoy. Oh, so they're just like what we were just eating earlier. What were we eating again? Um, that one. This. So, Prince noodles? Bulgogi Korean flavored noodle crackers. Okay, here's the spice pack. Hey, save some of those for me. I will. <laughs> so you I just get know. addicted to these, don't you? Quite a bit. I'm not denying anything. Pardon me. Saw those up. Oh man. Very vegetable flavor. Very vegetable flavor. Excuse me. You almost sound like we're in a band. He's a percussionist. I have no idea what Google means. I'm just hoping it's more vegetable broth. Hey Google, define bulgogi. Bougie has two different meanings. Bougie! Starting with the most common one, bougie can be used as a noun to mean a thin, flexible surgical instrument for exploring or dilating a passage of the body. Is that the meaning you were thinking of? No. no. <laughs> Alright, finally, bougie can be used as an adjective in US as an informal and derogatory term to mean Exhibiting qualities attributed to the middle class, especially hey, consciousness or con What does bulgogi mean? Bulgogi is used as a noun to mean a Korean dish of thin beef slices marinated and grilled on a barbecue. Do you oh. want to hear how bulgogi is spelled? No. Okay, can I see these spices? Yes, sir. Give me one sec. Excuse me. Okay, cool. Uh. Excuse me again. Excuse me. Here we go. Ready? So this is going to be possibly beef beef broth flavor. Beef beef broth. That's what the noodles look like in there. About spilling them. Oh yeah, that's beefy, all right. Sounds weird, beefy. Here it goes. Okay, so now that these are all, I'm going to grab it again and shake it. 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 Shake it.
shake it really hard. Oh yeah. Probably not the most attractive face I was just making. No. <laughs> I feel like this is the new American goth. While he's doing that, I'm going to enjoy some more of my instant coffee three in one. Yeah, it doesn't really have any sugar. Well, it does have sugar in it, but it certainly doesn't taste like it. It just tastes like coffee and creamer, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Like I said, I, I drink mine black usually on the regular, so this isn't bad at all. Smells beefy, all right. I saw that face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> on the right side? You're on the right. Oh, yeah, that's Vincent. Oh, good. Good, good. Um. Oh, man, these do smell really beefy. Ooh. Ooh? It, ooh isn't a good thing? That is delicious. Holy shoot. These do taste like barbecue. Yo, give me more of these. You can have the rest of those. I want these. Okay. Trade, yeah. Um, no, but we can we can still share these. Let me just have one more pinch of these, but. Sure, go ahead. Mmm. These do taste amazing. I like my veggie broth ones. I almost think we should just do that to the Indonesian noodles and find out what they taste like. We don't need to cook them. Okay. It has a picture of an egg on it, so I imagine eggy. Mm, probably egg noodles. Are you sure you don't want one, one more pinch of these? Go for it. Four hundred CC. Mm. Do you want to break these up or do you want to cook them? Break them. Let's break them. We'll pull Hold out the packet. Yeah, and then... I'm trying to... Oh, there they are. I'm going to try to remove some of these. Ah, oh, crap. Oh? I'll, I'll get a bowl. Okay. Oh, Vincent said something different. <laughs> We'll have to show you, Vincent, what some of these are. Don't eat all those. Those are delicious. I know, I know. I'm just having one more pinch. No, you can... No, no, I'm, I'm having one more. I'm just saying, like, those are delicious. Those are probably my favorite thing in this box. Excuse me. Oh, there's a double seasoning. Oh! One is the sauce, one is the seasoning. Oh, no! Maybe we do have to cook them. Oh my. They might have to have instruction packets or something on the back. We may have to go and cook these real quick. So, we will go and do that. If I don't fall. <laughs> So those blue bogeys are... The challenge accepted, Vincent. Challenge accepted. What do you say? I would like to beat him in Minecraft. I have no idea how to do that, but... Come with me. I'm taking you guys into the kitchen. He says, get a few friends together and try to beat them. Try to beat him in Minecraft. 
He's probably laughing right now because I have no knowledge of how to play it other than I've watched you play it. Yes, Emily does not know how to play Minecraft. I am going to teach her though. <laughs> but she doesn't know how to play. Um. Okay, how do I do this? How much is 400 milliliters? Honestly, I don't know. I usually use two thirds. Here. Oh, right here. Here, I just fill it with two thirds water. Excuse me. Let me do that. Okay. And then microwave for. Um, I have beat the dragon like 15 times. I'm gonna flip the noodles halfway through so they'll cook on one side and <coughs> on the other. So put them for 130. Perfect. And then we'll flip them at 130 again. I think legitimate, like 100% legitimate survival beating the dragon, I've done it twice. Well, Vincent has done it 15 times. Oh. Which is like the main ending boss in the game. Hmm. Grave knees, like I should be concerned. You missed one. You missed one? White rabbit. White rabbit. We missed a spot. It's a delicious candy called white. Excuse me. Hold on. Yeah. White rabbit. I don't think Jake's ever had it before. It's basically like a, a coffee creamer in a Tootsie Roll. So if you've ever had vanilla Tootsie Rolls, this is kind of like that. Lacking vanilla. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is Jake's first time having white rabbit. This will be like my 15th time having white rabbit. <coughs> they're really hard. They're hard to cut. They're hard to chew. I usually just suck on them until they feel like they're melting in my mouth. And then I'll eat them. Like I said, they look like vanilla tootsie rolls. We just cut it in half, so that's why it's got an oblong shape. Work. Hold on. Okay, so after we do this, we remove the room water. Well, you might want <clears throat> to... Excuse me, you want... You might want to flip them and cook them for 131 more time. I know. I'm saying like after we cook them, we oh. stir in the seasonings and then we remove it from water. Huh. Okay. Before adding the other thing. Gotcha. The liquid bits. Yeah, so they uh they don't really taste like vanilla. They just taste like coffee creamer. Like straight up, just cream flavor. I don't know, how does Jake like this? Uh, not this. Jake's not a fan. I'm not the fanest of fans. I honestly have no idea what that means, but... I like this strainer, I don't know why. <laughs> well, I do know why. Because it's fun to just... Yeah, I thought so. I don't know why he says, but as an adult, we don't know. Took me 45 minutes to get Fortune 3 Village today. Good job, Vinny. They accidentally made 32 buckets. Of what? Just buckets. It's easy to do if you misclick. Oh. I forget in the game you can make tools. I totally forgot. So when he said buckets, I was assuming you had buckets full of something. He's just like, no, just buckets. He tried to make one, but he made 32 instead. <laughs> Whoa! It's a lot of buckets. What he wasted two for? stacks of iron. Oh no! What are you going to use them all for now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, 
Let's turn you guys around. You can see that. It, uh, seasoning and... I don't know. I'm going to butcher that, so I'm not even going to try and say it. What is it? Bawang goreng? I have no idea, but it sounds cool. It just says to stir in the seasoning, so that's all I'm going to do. Bawang goreng. Okay. And now mix seasonings, mix all seasonings. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Remove noodles from liquid. Wait. Sorry, you just got a nice view of my hand. Um, we have a new viewer. I don't know if you would like to say anything. <laughs> Start while I read these directions. Ooh. Hello. Okay, remove from water and then stir in the rest of the seasoning. Mm. Now I could be wrong, but the red stuff Looks like chili paste, and I'm not sure if this is fish sauce or classified as other. And then lastly, this looks like a type of butter. I don't know. It looks like butter and... Oh, sorry, they have labels on them. <laughs> it is chili. Ooh. Um... Chili. Okay. And hold on. Kit Kat, which is a um, soy sauce. And uh, this last one is seasoning and oil, so that's why it looks like butter. Okay. Um. So, it it is chili paste. So. Chili paste, but it's chili sauce. So these are all crushed chilies mixed with, I'm assuming, a type of liquid or oil to keep them saturated, which would make a lot of sense. <clears throat> cool. And then we stir in those as well. Yes, so here comes the chili sauce. We'll go with, you know what, we should probably just grab some. Stuff. Here, here, right here. Are food scissors. Perfect. Food grade scissors. Yeah. Food grade. Careful. Okay, so this. Cutting it open. This red one first. This is chili sauce. See if these scissors will cooperate. They're a little blunt. So Here. Wish me luck. May I? Dearest. Sure. Hold uh, Almost. Almost. Maybe I'm holding them upside down. Hold on. Oh, I might be holding them upside down. I'm a left-handed person, so... Oh, it's not working. Look up. Okay. Okay, so that's the chili sauce first. I'm assuming that's going to be a little bit spicy, because they're red chili flakes, usually. Here, 
Okay, so this is all probably going to go in together to make some sort of a broth, which would make a lot of sense, honestly. And then here comes the soy sauce. Ooh, it's really thick and it's really, really brown. Thick and syrupy. Mmm. This looks like that video that girl would, um... And then the last one, sorry. The last one is a seasoning oil and salt. If it'll tear straight across, maybe, like it did last one. Here. Oh, no, it's not going. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. And now, get yourself a fair... Oh, Vaseline. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. It's not the most best prepared meal in the world, but. <laughs> it came with like a three step process. It's a food, nonetheless. <laughs> so I guess we want Here, to. Here, we'll. Let me. It does smell amazing, though. Just move the camera a little bit. There we go. It smells like spicy soy sauce, I would assume. Saturate those noodles. Saturate the nudes. <laughs> Send nudes. Send help. I don't think we know what we're doing anymore. All right, I'll let you take the first bite. No, I'm going to wait till you also have some on your fork. Oh, there, there goes, goes the, the cat. cat. Alrighty then, that's a good load of noodles. Let me do a spin. Alright. Dink it. Hmm. It's not bad, but the chili paste is really spicy. It does taste like soy broth. That's not bad. No, not at all. It's uh, not trying to encourage MSG or anything. It definitely needs a little more salt. The oil made it like a little less salty and more oily. So I don't know what the key ratio to that was or like what purpose the oil served, but had it been like a type of butter instead of an oil, it would have probably been a little more balanced out. That's not bad. Overall, it's just spicy. Excuse me. <clears throat> Who is that? Is that Vinny? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Yes, very mmm. I'm a microwave. Mm. <laughs> For sure, just chowing down, man. Just these nudes. We gotta get some nudes. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the kind of spicy heat I like. Sorry, just picking up trash. 
Again, the secret was the chili paste. Those are crushed red peppers. Or they're probably um, Thai chili seeds. You know, like when you go to places that call themselves Italian restaurants and they have the crushed red pepper seeds? That's what's in here. It's the chili sauce. <clears throat> it's like somebody just took a whole bunch of crushed red pepper seeds and put them in a moltar and pestle. Oh, uh, sorry, a, <laughs> a mortar and pestle and just crushed them and then added like a little bit of oil to make the sauce. Just Mortar and pestles are really cool. I uh, found a set at Amazon while I was working. Super cool. Weighed about 20 pounds though and I had to carry it out with both hands to place it in the shipping package that it needed to go in. <laughs> I now know why they say bend at the knees. Because you can't just use your back. You put your back into it and you herniate a disc or something. Throw something out of place. <laughs> okay. I'm going back on what I said. I said that these were the best thing in the box. No. This was the best thing in the box. I like both. Um, honestly, I am like really settled on all three types of noodles. Those are good. I'm sorry, I like those the best. And then the uh, sweet ones, and then finally that one, that smaller pack of ones. The veggie flavored ones? Yeah. Those vegetable broth ones were delectable. Those were like top notch. I don't know. <laughs> Just chugging away on I'm Sorry. <laughs> you do, man. Well, guys. If you want to see us taste test the other two that we have, please let us know and we will do it. Of course we won't do it right now, because it's meant for other days and we're probably a little full from this stuff. Unless of course we want to do the small Japan one later today. It's up to you. Yeah. So we may do one a little later today. Come back for that. Um, thanks. Again, all everyone, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, if, if you enjoy Emily being in these videos, please let us know. Or am I just a bit of an annoyance? I feel like a nuisance sometimes. You're not a <laughs> nuisance. You're the you're the information expert. <laughs> He's kidding. I'm just kidding. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me again. Oh my anyway, we'll see all you guys in the next stream slash video because this is going up on YouTube right after this. So. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.